my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we have a thrift flip collaboration that I'll tell you about a little bit later on and there'll be a playlist link down in the description that you can check out. But first we're going to go over the projects. This is project number one. Now project number one is a plastic, it's kind of, it's a Tupperware, uh, like a gravy boat. It didn't, I got it at Goodwill, it didn't have a top and I saw it and I just liked the shape of it and I thought this is going to make a really pretty uh, greenery display or something like that. So basically I'm taking my mineral chalk paint and I mixed in a little bit of uh, baking soda to make it kind of chunky and thick and I am putting it on, I'm painting it on first and kind of dabbing it on for the first coat because it's not sticking all that well and then the second coat I'm going to go in and actually just dab it and just kind of splotch it on I don't even know the correct terminology but I'm just gonna just dab it and just keep dabbing like I am right here and make it chunky and it's gonna look a lot like cement which is pretty cool so it actually I really like how it came out and here I am, I'm spraying it with my Rust-Oleum Clear Matte Sealer to, after it has sat overnight to dry, um, I sprayed it with that and it's, it stuck on very, very well. So now I'm taking my Styrofoam that I have, the, um, I think it was Dollar Tree I got it from, and I'm going to glue it down in the bottom of it because I want to add some moss and some greenery to it. So I want something for it to stick on. So I'm loading it full of uh, hot glue and I'm putting in a bunch of moss. I want this to kind of stand up a little bit. I have an idea of a bird I want to put in the middle of it, but I'm not sure if it's going to show up. So I'm kind of uh, mounding it so that it will stand out a little bit more. And I want to also cover up the inside because it really wasn't all that pretty. I did paint it one coat, but I didn't really get all that crazy on making it completely covered because I knew that I would have uh, this moss in there and stuff. So I am filling that up, as you can see, gluing it in and giving it a little haircut. Then I'm fluffing the moss up a little bit because I just kind of mounded it in there. So um, I'm taking the greenery that I bought from Michael's, I believe, or it may have been from Hobby Lobby. I got it for half price. I do know that. I think it was Hobby Lobby now that I think about it. Um, and I'm going to, I'm taking that and gluing it right in. I'm sticking it right in that styrofoam so it will stay in there really good. And pushing it in all around. And then you're going to see me, again, fluffing it and moving it around and just kind of spreading it out so that it looks nice and full. So I thought the bottom looked just a little bit too plain, so I did take a little burlap ribbon and I put it on and just made a simple little bow on the front and it's pretty much finished. Check it out what it looks like, guys. On to project number two. Now this is under the mistletoe little sign that I got uh, again I believe at Goodwill for two or three dollars and I need to take the hanger off and add it to the side instead of the top. So the side is now going to be the top so it's going to be vertical 
instead of horizontal. And so as you see here, I just switched it around and put that on there like that. And I have one of those, those little aluminum trays from Dollar Tree. This one I used to grubby some candles and stuff, so one side has uh, cinnamon and stuff and Mod Podge stuck to it. But you're not going to be able to see it because it's going to be up against the sign. And so I'm just cutting it out so that the middle of the sign will be covered in this tin. Or, or aluminum, I guess it is. It's not really tin. Um, and so I'm just cutting it down so that it will fit nicely right in the middle there. And then once that's done, I'm going to glue it down with E6000 and some hot glue. I want E6000 on the back of that because I'm going to be hanging something off from it that I got uh, also at Goodwill. Uh, it's a metal star candle hanger, and I was going to do something different with it, and then I saw these two pieces together, and I said, I really, really want to put these together. Sometimes things that you see um, separately at Goodwill, they end up being just the great perfect marriage for the two. Uh, so this is the star that I got. This was $3, I believe. I cut a little piece of scrap wood out so that you couldn't see it. It needed to be raised up a little bit because the two uh, points on the star would hit the edge of the frame. So I needed to raise that up so that it would have something to stick to. So again, E6000, some hot glue, and I'm putting it about, oh, probably two-thirds of the way down on the sign because I'll be doing something along the top and the bottom as well. But I wanted the candle part down at the bottom to um, sit on top of the frame so that it would be nice and level. So now I'm going outside. I'm taking my Rust-Oleum Flat Black Spray Paint and giving them both a nice coat of black paint. Then once they were dry, I, ha I am sanding it down the edges and uh, making it look very distressed and primitive, of course. I also did the inside where the um, where that that aluminum was, and just just hitting that lightly. I didn't go too too heavy on that. Now I'm taking the top of that star and I'm doing the grubby look with my um, my spices that I make up with cinnamon and all the different spices. So I put on Mod Podge and then I put a, put a coat of the spices on top and then I take some Mod Podge again and go over the top and seal it over. And I'm doing this while I'm waiting for my sign to dry. I did spray that with some clear matte sealer and so that will be all nice and easy to clean and it will stay nice. Um, so then the next day, uh, I let this dry, the star dry overnight and the next day I added it to my sign. So I'm gluing it down, making sure everything that touches anything gets glued down because this is going to hang so I don't want it to fall off the wall randomly. Um, so that's all I'm doing here is doing that. And then once I put the glue on, I decided I wanted to do the hot glue as well once I got it set. And I got that down. And I think it looks good. So now I couldn't decide. I had made a bow that I was going to put on the top of this. And I, it was cute, but I really didn't like it. So I decided to just take this jute twine and wrap it around, I don't know, four or five times, and then just make a regular little little simple bow to put on one corner of it uh, with the jute twine as well. And I thought this was a nice simple touch. It wasn't too much, too busy or anything like that. A little bit of moss glued around the candle cup to give it a little bit of just a little bit of more primitive of a look dress it up a little bit more 
and I think that looks really nice. And then I thought I might put pit berries around it, and I changed my mind. I decided to grab some of my, I don't know, I guess it's green, and it's kind of like a coffee color, like a brown, and uh, off-white color pit berries that I have, and put them down, hook them to the back, like to the, to the hanger on the back so that they would be behind the candle that sat in the in the holder. And I put uh, three of them on there, I think three little sprigs of pit berries. And then because I did that at the bottom, you could see a little bit of glue and all that, so I decided to also wrap the twine around the bottom, which I really think is kind of cute. So here's the finished product, guys. Hope you like it. So before we move on to project number three, I'm going to tell you about the collaboration. This is a third Thursday thrift flip put on by Tammy at the Rusted Willow and Elizabeth at Southern G. Moore Gals. Now this is uh, something that goes on every month and it's so much fun to work with these girls and everybody that's involved. The, this is really fun. To do and I'm so glad that they have these open collabs so that we can do these with them so thank you guys and the links to their channels and also the playlist will be down in the description so please go and check out the other uh, creators that are joining in on this collaboration it's a lot of fun and they do such a great job okay now on to project number three Project number three. This is a super cute little candle holder. It's a wooden candle candle holder. I got at a antique furniture shop tucked away on the edge of Vermont when I went there this past week, I believe. So I found it and picked it up, brought it home. It had a red candle in it. So I decided I was going to spray it again with flat black spray paint and then sand it down, sand down the edges and give it a good distress. So also I'm taking the red candle that I got in it and it probably would have matched just fine if I'd used some different pit berries, but I wanted to grubby it up again with my spice stuff. I had it out for the star, so I decided I would do the candle. I didn't do a heavy distress on it, so you can still see the red through it, which is kind of cool. Uh, it almost looks, it looks more of a burgundy color, which is a lot better. That fits my decor, um, and it feels more rustic to me. So I'm taking, of course, I'm taking my moss and putting that around. I just like how it fills up a space and makes it look just, just more finished once you put whatever you're going to put on it. So I just took a sprig of that same, the same pit berry color with the green and and the coffee and put that on there to just give it a simple look with a bow and here you go here is what it looks like There's all three projects. Which one's your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. So also, don't forget to go down in the description box below and check out the playlist of the other creators who are on there doing their thrift flips as well. And don't forget to go down and check out my Etsy shop 
pit berries and burlap. I can't keep all these projects to myself. I need to share them with you guys. So if you're interested in any of them, go check it out. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video out. Thanks friends. Take care. Bye-bye.